Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install RHL that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3 on VirtualBox in Windows environment. Open browser then go to developers.redhat.com Click on products. I will keep this link in the video description. Then in Linux section, click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Then click on see here click on download or sign up scroll down here see here we have the downloads for 8.9 9.3 8.8 9.2 okay 9.0 like this we have up to 8.1 versions okay at the time of making this video the latest one is red hat enterprise linux 9.3 select this dvd iso and click on download it is asking red hat login or the email if you don't have any login just you have to login with any any one of these accounts or click on register for red hat account i have already account then provide the password See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See, its a size is 9.8. Its a size is 9.8 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded ISO file. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open Oracle VM virtual box. If you want to install virtual box, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Start. Then search for virtual box. Click on this Oracle VM virtual box. See, I have one virtual machine that is Windows Server 2022. Okay. Click on add or new. Click on new or click on machine and select new. Both are same. Okay. Here provide the name. Then select the folder to store this virtual machine. Okay. By default, it is going to store here. But if you want to change, you have to select the drop down and click on other. Then select the drive where you want to store and you have enough space. Okay. Create new folder. Then give the name. Hit enter. Then select the folder. See, it is going to store all virtual, virtual machine files and folders in this location. In the drop down, you have to select the downloaded ISO image. Click on others. Select the RHL DVD ISO file. Click on open. See, type it has selected Linux and it had 64 bit. Okay. You have to select this skip unattended installation. Then expand this one. Then expand the hardware. See, by default, it has selected 2 GB. I am increasing it to 4 GB. Then hard disk. See, this is the hard disk file name and this is the size. I am giving size to 50 gigabytes. Then click on finish. Again, go up and see one by one. If you satisfied with all these settings, click on finish. See, ISO is mounted. If you want to edit before starting, if you want to edit any one of them, you have to click on the virtual machine from the left menu and click on the settings. Basic, advanced, okay. Encryption, set system, anything that you want to configure, okay. I am ok with all these settings, then click on ok. Now to start the actual installation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3 on VirtualBox, you have to click on start or right click and select start and normal start. Ok. Click on the start.
use up and down arrows and select the option. I am going with the first one that is install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3. Hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. See, notice here installation destination, root password, and the user creation are in red. Also, notice here this begin installation has been grayed out. So, to enable this begin installation, we have to fill these mandatory fields like installation destination, root password, and user creation. Okay, select them. I'm okay with the, this current location. Click on done. Then root password, provide the password for the root user. Then click on. Then click on done. See, without adding user, we are able to start the installation okay but i am going to create user giving username as r2 schools full name also say then provide the password then click on done see we have configured everything now click on begin installation see installation has been started this may take time i will resume once the we receive the screen that installation has been completed okay See, installation has been completed. Click on Reboot System. Click on Username and provide the password. No thanks. You have to click on Restart. Provide the same email ID and password which we have used to download the Red Hat Enterprise ISP. Okay. For more. Linux are adhered videos. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.